Okay, morning everyone. Um, I'm out flying this morning. It's a nice morning, but there's a little bit of wind up there. A little bit bumpy, not too bad. Um, trying out the new video camera today. Uh, bought myself a new Sony 4K video camera. And we're trying different settings while I fly. I'm flying the FMS super easy. And, you know, she, she is being affected by the wind a little bit, but she's coping okay. Um, still having a little bit of a problem landing. She's very, very difficult to slow down. But she does flow, uh, fly quite slowly, quite nicely. Not my recommendation for a beginner plane, more of a second or a third plane for somebody. But an inexpensive plane, uh, around, I think I paid £120. So, you know, it's good value for money. I've been trying to fly just, you know, not normally as far out as I, I usually do in an effort to help the video camera cope. Unfortunately, most video cameras don't seem to cope with either a blue sky or a blue and white sky. They cope very well when it's cloudy for some reason, but when the sun comes out, it causes all sorts of problems. Okay, so I'm just going to bring it around now, just slowing it down a little bit. I'm going to try and do a nice slow path if I can. See, she just doesn't want to slow down. So a slow path becomes a fast path. I'm going to go uh, the way a little more. Bring it back down. She's got a real turn of speed, as I've said before. It really is quite a quite a quick plane. Let's try that slow pass again, see if we can get it a bit slower this time. A bit better. A very versatile plane because it behaves like a trainer and then obviously if you have got the nerve it's quite aerobatic as well although I don't think it particularly likes doing aileron rolls it seems to dip at the end so then I could put my travel a little bit higher I suppose that's just a nice relaxing plane to fly So it should be quite a turn of speed, so I'm going to give it a bit of a full pelt pass now. She is, you know, trending along, along quite nicely there. I don't really like flying over pedestrians, I'm going to try and cut it short there and come around the other side of it. Lots of dog walkers today. And the wind seems to have dropped off a little bit now, so she's not really being affected so much when you slow down. Um, yeah, no, she's quite nice now. Another low pass, lowish pass. Beautiful morning today, though. Passing from the direction. I'm going to go up the loop the loop. She does loop the loop quite nicely.
She actually flies quite nicely slow. There's no sign of any sort of tip stall and I've been slowing it down quite a lot of times. I'm flying at about well, half throttle there and she is slowing down quite nicely. Bring it into land now. Wish me luck. So I'm cutting the power and bringing it down. And I'm trying to flare to scrub that speed right at the last minute. And then. So, you know, it is possible to land there. A little bit slower. Uh, I'm getting good flights, I'm getting seven minutes, and it's leaving me a good, um, I think, about 40% in the battery. So, yeah, very good. Okay, thanks, bye. Okay, as I've said when I was flying, um, today really has been about testing a new camera. I wanted to try and do 4K uh, and have a 4K camera, so I made an investment in, in a new camera. Um, as I've said with the FMS Super Easy, I'm using uh, um, Turner G3S 2200 batteries and I've been flying for 7 minute flights and as you can see there there's still 57 percent in the battery which you know i could have actually flown for eight minutes then still leaving myself about 40 percent i always try to keep 3.85 volts per cell which is um your storage rate um but yeah she's very efficient so uh just wanted to share that with you okay